So, I've had my Hypertherm uh, Power Max 30 for a bunch of years, and I went to use it the other day, and it just really started blowing. Like, as soon as I hooked the air up to it, I could see it was losing air. It was blowing air all over the place. So, upon investigation, I took it apart, and it's real easy to do. There's two screws in the handle, one that like, goes on top here. You pull that out, and then you kind of just spread this a little bit, see how it spreads, and you know keep everything as close to in order as you can. And what I found was there was air. This is usually up here on like this, and this little hose goes out the bottom, and there was air just streaming out of it. And what I found is, and I tried to epoxy it, but if you look here. And here and here this thing's just cracked all over so I tried to epoxy it as you can see I tried to epoxy it as best as I could and unfortunately I was unable to uh, well first first attempt it blew back out I was in a rush so I put it in my vise and I slathered it up and as you can see, the epoxy got into the threads, so can't fit it on. I had to solve my problem through other means, but if you have one of these and you're looking to keep it for a while, I would recommend you go ahead and replace that guy. And the other pickup location, customer for PO. Looking for the part. I think it's this. But anyways, you can find it's it's the filter dryer, and there's a field service bulletin for it, and I believe the part number is this four two eight two four six. I should have probably looked that up before I started filming, but what can you do? And it just basically details how to. Um, yeah, okay, here's the part number. Alright. 011 11 and a 9. That's the air filter bowl assembly. And the 04425 025 is your uh, O-ring. But I took and ordered it. And hopefully it'll come all brand new. And literally, it's like a two-minute replacement. But if I, what I'm planning on doing, and I'm going to do it now that I thought about it, yeah, see, here it comes, is just go ahead and order a whole brand new one to keep on hand. And right now, without too much ado, I'm going to show what's involved in changing this bad boy. Because it's basically just an O-ring. Which must go up in here. I was say there should be a way to put this sucker on. <laughs> Unrehearsed, real time, all that good jazz. You know how it goes. Right? The moment you want your kids to perform in front of an audience. And all that jazz. Or actually, it might go right there. Yeah, I'm thinking it goes right there. Well, let's see if we can get this sucker in there. Cause that's my other problem is getting it in over top of that guy.
And now I got it out, so I... Oh, first in the rings inside here. Duh. Oh, it's up in there. Alright, the O-ring's up in there. I'm supposed to inspect it for damage or cracks and if needed replace. I'm gonna say that mine's pretty good. Yeah, there's your O-ring. Hold on one second, let me get a pick tool. I'll go ahead and change that out too. Sorry if this video seems a little unprofessional, but that's me, Mr. Unprofessional. There it is. We're going to go ahead and replace that anyway. Why? Because it doesn't cost us anything and it might save us in the long run. Whoop. Get up in there. Yeah, this thing was just gushing air out the bottom of it. There it goes. And you reconnect this tube and all this tube does is it blows the air out the bottom out of one of these holes. Reconnect that. And yeah, you can kind of see down there. It just goes in this little rubber grommet. But uh, that should be it. I'm going to cut this off because I forgot to charge up my air compressor and I don't want to bore you with that. But let's see if it leaks now. All right, let's see if it blows the bottom out. Yay! Ta-da! Da-da-da! Da-da! Woo! Yay! Fixed it. Good deal. That's 100 PSI. Which is more than I need for most of my jobs. But it's not blowing out all over the floor. Okay. Dum da dum dum. Sorry, I got so excited that it was fixed. I figured I might as well show you. It coming apart is just going to be the opposite of it going back together. Basically, this sits down in. Get it in all its little notches and grooves. Slap that puppy together, slap that puppy together, and for mine, it's a Phillips head screws, and then the handle goes on top, and, oh, it's got to go underneath here, so. It should just go... And remember, don't tighten anything down until you get them both started. Now, the thing to remember, though, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Oh.
I didn't realize I was zoomed in that far. Um, if I would have had one of those on hand whenever I had my problem, that wouldn't have been a problem. You know what I mean? Or it took two minutes to fix. But since I didn't have one, I couldn't fix it. Couldn't get one for a couple days. Uh, I did order it off of Amazon. But I'm pretty sure even your local welding supply shop might be able to get it for you if they deal in hypertherm. And I'm going to call that a wrap. Clean up. Go to town. Buy some steel.